Hey, Bonaventure! Oh! Welcome back to another edition of Motivation Monday. I am your host and love and life coach, Dale Large, reporting live for the holiday. Happy Memorial Day to everybody celebrating. Uh, if you catch it on the replay because you were too busy with the family, eating barbecue, sleeping, I understand. I understand. But if you're here with me, I appreciate you and I salute you. Love you so much. Happy Memorial Day. Also, y'all, this is a special day uh, for me uh, because this is um, the five-year anniversary of my father's passing. My, my biological father, yes. Woo, five years, y'all, five years. And let me tell you something. I thought it was only right that on this day, and also he was also in the service. So salute to him. Salute pops. Uh, Air Force. He was in the Air Force. So he served this country. Uh, and, and so, man, listen, I, I got to tell y'all, first and fo foremost, before we even get started, hit the subscribe button, y'all. Listen, we are, th this is not... This is a ministry movement. I need you to understand that. This is a ministry movement, which means it is a ministry on the move. We are intentional about touching and getting the gospel to as many people as we can. Our brand of the gospel, right? Which is soul ties, how to detox from toxic relationships to get tied back to your true first love, which is Christ. All right? So... That, that is our mission. And, uh, you know, we're a meta ministry. So that means we're hybrid. So that means we, we are in person going from city to city, spreading this message. And also, of course, online. And, uh, we know how we're doing based on when you tune in, when you comment, when you like, uh, and when you share. So I want you to hit the subscribe button. If you have not so far, because that lets me know how we doing, man. And listen, we're building this thing from the ground up. I'm talking about no, pro, no, no pushing it, no, no paying for promotion or paying for numbers. I don't do that. I want to know organically and authentically who we're touching. And you let me know that when you hit that subscribe button. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button right now. You see the title and I think it, it is fit. Listen, forgiveness, you see it. By the way, the t-shirts are available. The link is in the bio. Make sure you get you a FU t-shirt, man. <laughs> forgiveness, for those of y'all who have been to the Soul Time Seminar, you already know what this is. And, and, and so befitting that I speak about it today because I never knew my father growing up. He was not in my life. He left before I was even born. Uh, and he was, uh, you know, he was AWOL. You know what I'm saying? He was not in my life. And actually, it took my journey of writing Soul Ties, the first one, that one right there, uh, which was the journey that I took, uh, you know, and, and and it's what we're going to be talking about tonight. Uh, I actually sought him out uh, by way of the unctioning of God. God told me to seek my father out. So I sought him out and I sought him out for one purpose and one purpose alone. And that was to forgive him. And uh, for those of you, like I said, all of my soldiers who've been to the seminars, you know what F you give this is. You put it together, that's forgiveness, forgiveness. But, but it, you know, the reason why it's spelled like that F you, because initially we don't want to forgive the unforgivable. Come on now, talk to me, y'all. We Y'all know it's true. Listen, some people have done things to us that we feel is unforgivable and we don't want to do that. But at the end of the day, the day go in. <laughs> like my girl Glorilla said, at the end of the day, the day go in. So watch this. And when it ends, 
watch this. When it ends, we got to do what God tells us to do. And God tells us to forgive. But I don't want to minimize the F-U moment. And of course, you know this is used as a double entendre. Uh, as, as y'all know here at Soul Times, we keep it real, we keep it raw, but we keep it righteous. So, but, but, but let's not, let, let's not get away from that real and raw. I, I am who I am. I'm going to keep it real with you. Now that F you represents you being angry. And for the sake of some of y'all, you know, you know, real, real safe, 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 super safe folk, forget you. We'll, we'll use that as the F. Forget you, forget you, right? But 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 no, that 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 F U moment, it needs to be embraced. It really does. It needs to be embraced. And uh and, and, and I tell you why. Because even your your Jesus got angry. Mm -hmm. Even he got upset. At the disciples, he got upset at, you know, uh, the Pharisees, the Sadducees. He went into that temple, tore that up. Listen, your Savior got angry. But what we all need to understand and realize is that your anger has an expiration date. Stop the show. Stop it right now. Stop the show. Oh, your anger has an expiration Ooh. God gives you time to be angry, but you can't stay there. You can't stay there, okay? Because if you stay there, what happens is the enemy will use your anger and use it against you to cause you to sin. Sin by harming, you know, the, the individual that hurt you, you know, paying back, you know, hurt for hurt. Uh, uh, in some cases, and we see this with all these shows, Snapped, Fatal Attraction, For My Man, uh, you know, all these shows that show domestic violence in relationships where a, a lot of them are not just uh, uh, beating them, watch this, but killing them. So the enemy can use your anger and anger, if you let it sit for too long, it concretizes into bitterness, wrath. And then when that becomes that, that's when you see it. That's when you act on the very anger and the very emotions that you have. But, but, but watch this. But, but we, it, it, we have to look at the science of this. You can be angry, but you have a time limit for it. Look, look, look. This is what the line represents. See that red line, red for the blood of Jesus? And, and, and see it on the title F-U hyphen giveness? Watch this. The hyphen represents the time limit you have to be angry. Because God will give you your moment. He'll give you grace. Yeah, yeah. He gives you the moment to cry, cuss, and fuss, and do whatever you need to do to get it out. But you can't turn it into evil. You can't pay them back. It's as mad as you are. As much as you want revenge, you can't do it. Listen, let me tell you something. My, I hated my father for leaving me and not being there. I, I hated my stepfather for abusing me all of my life and all those years. The mental, it wasn't just the physical abuse, y'all. It was the emotional abuse, the mental abuse that I had with going over my head if my dad was here, he would not be beating on me. If my dad was here to protect me, because my mother wasn't protecting me. So, 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 uh, so I, my other parent was not even there to protect me. I had every reason to be angry. Every reason to be mad. But Ephesians 4 and 26 says this, be ye angry. It says, look, be angry. It gives you permission to be angry. But sin not. Ooh. But sin not. See, see, you can't allow the anger to make you sin. And it has an expiration date. Here's the expiration date. And look, it even says, let, don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Oh, my God. 
So that's giving you the expiration date. In some cases, 24 hours. Go through all your emotional stuff because the next day you have to be ready to forgive. Y'all don't want to hear that. See, that's Ephesians 4.26. Y'all don't even want to hear that, but that ain't even your motivational text. Your motivational text this week is Matthew 6 and 14, where it says this. For if ye forgive men of their offenses, your heavenly Father will forgive you as well. So that means that my forgiveness, my forgiveness for my sins, for your sins, is directly tied to your willingness to forgive others, to forgive who hurt you. Oh, I know y'all don't want to hear this on Memorial Day, but this is just where God sent me. I'm celebrating five years, not of my father leaving, but of me truly walking in forgiveness, forgiveness of him, forgiveness of my stepfather, and forgiveness of my mother for the toxic childhood and traumatic childhood and environment that I had coming up. And I just want to let you know, if, if God can convince me and persuade my heart to forgive. Then like my song say, you can do it too. Hey, you can do it too. Hey, look, you can do it too. First of all, the Bible says, if, if you love God, watch this, that if you truly belong to him, you will obey him. And this is a command. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, oh man, your heavenly father will forgive you. Y'all, 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 that's your foundational text. I want you to meditate that all, all. I want y'all to meditate on that all week this week. Because not only are there people that you have to forgive for things that they have done. Are you ready? As long as you live it. People are going to be people and people are not perfect and people are going to do things that offend you, that hurt you, that causes you pain. And the worst ones are family. The, your spouse, the one you in love with. How do we handle that? I'm glad you asked. I got six points for you. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all, I'm just telling you, this is where God was leading me. I know it's the holiday. I don't want to ruin your moment, but I'm just letting you know. This is what thus says the Lord, and I'm here to motivate your life situation. With nothing but that kingdom inspiration. Let's get to it. Now, now there are a lot of myths about forgiveness, and I wanna and I wanna go down the line uh with with six six well some of them are myths. Some of them are. But mm, what, 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 for the sake of words, I'm lost for words on this because this is just stuff that God gave me. So we're just gonna say uh six six keys. We'll, we'll call them that. Six keys to forgiveness. Here it is. Number one, forgiveness does not mean fellowship. Mm. Now, that, that is a myth. That, uh, that is a myth that needs to be dispelled. People think that because I forgive you, that means that I got to get back in fellowship with you. That, that don't mean that. Mm -hmm. yeah, you don't have to eat chicken with the one who betrayed you. Yeah, with the one that hurts you. You don't you don't, listen, listen, if 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 it's already painful enough to forgive, don't send yourself through more trauma by trying to get back or build a relationship with somebody who truly has hurt you. Now now if you are not mature and anointed enough to move 
with them and continue on, that, that you, you can cut the relationship. Or, or watch this, or if they're family, you know, you can't cut that. Your brother going to always be your brother, sister going to always be your sister, but you can cut the fellowship. Yeah, you don't have to let them in your inner circle, okay? Your emotional inner circle. You don't, you don't have to let them in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgiveness does not mean fellowship. Here's another myth. Forgiveness, number two, forgiveness does not have to be face-to-face. I don't have to go to you to forgive you. I don't have to have a sit down. I don't have to call you. I don't have to have a meeting with you and, and somebody else in order for me to forgive you. You can forgive whoever wronged you right in that seat you sitting in right now. Car seat, home, wherever you may be. You can forgive right now. Yeah, you don't have to meet the person and let them, you don't have to announce the forgiveness to them. Number three, here's another key. Uh, 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 forgiveness is not natural. It's supernatural. In other words, it takes faith to forgive. Oh, yeah. It's a faith walk. It takes faith to forgive. And you have to acquire faith. Especially depending on how deep the hurt is. I have to pray, God, give me the faith. Listen, listen, listen. When Jesus taught on forgiveness, and he said, if your brother offends you 70 times, seven. Watch this. If your brother offends you 70 times, seven. In a day, you got to keep forgiving them. The disciples were so baffled by that, they said, Lord, watch this, increase our faith. Oh my God. There it is. So you need faith to even forgive somebody over and over and over. If they keep coming back and saying they're sorry, keep coming back saying they repent, you got to forgive. Mm. Number four, the people that hurt you sleep very good at night. So forgiveness, here's number four, forgiveness is not about them. It's, a, it's for you. Number four, forgiveness is for you. Mm, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. They sleep very good. They own to the next person hurting them. You the one with the migraines. You the one with the high blood pressure. You the one with the anxiety. You the one suffering. They going on about their business. So Forgiveness is not giving them a pass. It's about setting you free. My God. Number five, forgiveness is not suppression. Mm. Everybody thinks just because you don't talk about it, it's over. No, 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 no. That's called suppression. Just because you don't bring it up. Just because you say, oh, I ain't worried about that. That didn't affect me. That didn't... No, that's called suppression. And you are only fooling yourself. You have to deal with forgiveness face to face, head on. Listen, listen, you have to make the deliberate decision not to penalize someone for what they did to you. Stop the show right now. Oh, let me run that bag rewind and back that thing up and play it again. Listen, forgiveness is a deliberate decision not to penalize the person who hurt you. So it's not sweeping it under the rug or throwing it in the closet, closing the door and forgetting about it. No, we got to deal with it. We got to make a deliberate decision to forgive. Forgiveness is not suppression. And number six, this is the final one. Forgiveness does not need an apology to activate it. Oh, come on, God. Here it is. I ain't forgiving nobody until they say they sorry. God didn't tell you that. You can go all through that Bible and you ain't going to find a scripture that says forgive only when they apologize. Mm -mm, no. What we see is forgive, 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 forgive. Listen, listen, listen. God is not concerned with whether or not you got an apology.
Ooh. 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 Oh, I'm setting somebody free tonight. No, 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 no. You got to be free to forgive. You got to be free enough to forgive. And, and it doesn't require your apology or acknowledgement of what you did to me. Sometimes people do stuff to you they don't even know they did. This is why, watch this, also the Bible says forgive quickly. Ooh. See, sometimes you got to, watch this, be so full of the anointing enough to know that the enemy is using this person. So therefore, they don't even acknowledge, they haven't even said they were sorry, but you know what? I'm going to forgive anyway, because that's how I roll. <laughs> Come on, somebody, because I want my sins to be forgiven, so therefore... I'm going to forgive others. Y'all, let's do the recap. Woo, man, this was good. Whenever you're struggling with forgiveness, I want you to earmark this Motivation Monday. I want you to save this, copy, link it, email it to yourself, email it to people that you need, to, that, that need to hear this. Forgiveness, baby. Did you know forgiveness will hinder your prayers? Oh, oh, no, we got to, we got to get on this forgiveness. No, 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 you, no, you, it's, it, you must forgive. Ain't even an option. Number one, number one, here it is. Let, let's get the six keys to forgiveness. Number one, understand that forgiveness does not mean fellowship. I don't have to get back in, 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 in union with you. I don't have to be back friends with you. Listen, I can love you from afar. It's all good. I forgive you, though. Number two, forgiveness does not have to be face-to-face. -face. I don't have to call or have a sit-down with you in order for my forgiveness to work. Number three, forgiveness takes faith. I need faith. I need to pray for God to increase my faith so I can forgive those who are hard to forgive. Number four, forgiveness is for me. Woo! It's for me. It's, it's for the release of me. It's for me having anxiety, worry, pain, hurt, depression, all that stuff to be lifted off of me. Forgiveness is good for you. Come on. Number five, forgiveness is not suppression. It is not me sweeping it under the rug. Forg forgiveness is not suppression. No, no. I am going to make a deliberate decision to deal with the very thing that hurt me and forgive the people who did it. And finally... I do not need an apology or acknowledgement for forgiveness to be activated. I'm going to forgive whether people say they sorry or acknowledge what they did to me or not. That is how I master life through forgiveness. Oh, let me read this in the Amplifier before we go. Your motivational scripture to meditate on all week. Matthew 6, 14. Here's the Amplifier version, y'all. For if you forgive others for their reckless and willful sins against you. Oh my God. Reckless, because y'all know some folk be acting reckless when it come to you. Watch this. Your heavenly father will also forgive you. Your forgiveness is tied whether or not you are willing to forgive others' recklessness towards you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for this incredible Motivation Memorial Day Monday. God, I thank you right now that you gave me the heart and the peace and the love and most of all the faith to forgive my father and to forgive my stepfather my mother, and all those who have ever hurt me. And I pray that for everybody watching, no matter how hard it is, they follow these steps. They embrace these keys. They meditate on your word. They pray for the faith to free them through forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. The word is going to work all by itself, y'all. Listen, y'all. Oh, wow. Man, five years my father has been gone, and I dedicate this show to him. I dedicate this show to the legacy of the Lawrences. He was the only child uh, from his, uh, I'm his only son, so the name goes on with me. The legacy goes on with me. Uh, I, I break the generational curse. 
I break the generational curse. And I pray that the generational curse is broken over your family as well. Forgive. Whether it's family, friends, or a lover or an ex-lover. Don't let anybody hold you in prison to unforgiveness. I want you to sow a seed if that blessed you. Sow a seed, man. Sow a seed if that Bless you, man. Listen, this is the last motivation for the month of May. Next Monday, my birthday month, all month long, I'm celebrating y'all. Listen, soldiers, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for sharing. Thank you for commenting. I'm liking all of them. That's me, baby. I'm hands on with the movement. I love y'all so much. I want you to enjoy your Memorial Day. I'm getting ready to get back to some barbecue eating and some and some sleeping and, and just enjoying my family. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you next Monday. Until then, stay in faith, stay focused, and stay motivated. I'm out!